friends welcome to technique this is normal here and in this video we'll do an faq on the vivo z1x so vivo z1x is the latest smartphone to be announced by vivo in india and this is a, a different variant when compared to the vivo z1 pro there are lots of similarities but here we have a, a, a bit of difference in terms of the camera the display a lot of things have changed here so uh, in this video we will talk about uh, the vivo z1x so we have been getting a lot of questions so we'll talk about uh, the device we'll answer all your questions so let's get started with the detailed faq so we'll uh, just similar to our faq videos on other devices we'll cover uh, all the aspects in detail so first step let's have a look at the sensors available on this device so we have installed the sensors app so there you go you can see all the basic sensors are included uh, magnetic sensor proximity light uh, gyroscope accelerometer orientation sensor so all the basic sensors are included on the uh, vivo z1x now next uh, let's talk about the display so display is one of the important changes uh, uh, with uh, the vivo z1x so uh, the vivo z1 pro has uh, uh, the IPS LCD panel but we, here we have a Super AMOLED display so that's the major difference here so this is a Super AMOLED panel on the uh, Vivo Z1X you can see that the viewing angles are really good uh, the colors are really vibrant and overall uh, the display quality is top notch on the Vivo Z1X so that's the major change on the uh, Vivo Z1X when compared to the Vivo Z1 Pro now a lot of you have been asking us whether there is Gorilla Glass protection on this device or any other sort of protection so similar to the Vivo Z1 Pro this has a uh, short uh, uh, glass protection so short is uh, a german company which actually produces these stuff and glasses so short uh, pro uh, uh, protection is available on this device so this is actually a pretty good glass protection available so that's a pretty good uh, uh, protection offered by vivo and it also comes with a pre-installed screen guard on the device now talking about the build quality so uh, when we did the video on the vivo z1x so a lot of you have asked us whether this is glass finishing because it feels really nice it feels like glass so is it glass or uh, whatever material it is it has it is actually polycarbonate material you can see that this uh, looks really good it is finished like glass but it is a polycarbonate material but overall build quality is quite good on the vivo z1 now talking about the sim card so this device comes uh, with uh, dual sim card supports uh, so there is a dual 4g support and dual voltage support now talking about the micro sd card expansion slot so this device does not support sd card there is no sd card slot available uh, it has suffered in 64 gigabyte storage and 128 gigabyte storage that's the two variants both of the variant has 6 gigabyte ram so uh, these are the two variants available there is no micro sd card expansion slot on the vivo z1x now talking about the fingerprint scanner so uh, unlike the vivo uh, z1 uh, pro this has in display fingerprint scanner so we have all already done a video on the in display fingerprint scanner performance is one of the fastest out there extremely fast in unlocking and uh, there, uh, there are lots of customization options uh, for the fingerprint scanner animations as well now the face unlock is also extremely fast one of the fastest we have seen in this price segment and uh, you can see that uh, the lock screen doesn't even turn up uh, when uh, using the face unlock on this device now next uh, the software so the phone comes uh, with a uh, fun touch OS. so this is uh, the uh, the software which we have seen on all the vivo smartphones so it uh, does come with all the options uh, you also get the dark mode available then uh, there is some ultra gaming mode included so you can get the best out of the gaming performance with this uh, mode there is also ai turbo included for uh, the gaming experience so system navigation can be customized uh, via the either keys or gestures then we have motorbike mode uh, then uh, other options include uh, smart motion smart mirroring smart split screen 100 mode s capture mode app clone is included and smart click mode is also included so these are the modes included um, and uh, this looks pretty good uh, in terms of software experience so you can just pull down from the bottom for uh, all the quick toggles so that's the difference if you have been using a vivo smartphone you uh, you might be already knowing that now talking about the performance so the phone is powered by the same uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 712 octa-core processor which we have seen on the Z1 uh, Z1 Pro as well. Now here there is a difference, the base variant has 6GB RAM while the Z1 Pro had 4GB uh, RAM as the base variant. Now the performance as such looks really good. Now uh, there is no lags whatsoever and the app switching is again uh, extremely fast you can see that uh, it's very fast uh, performance and uh, even the gaming experience is really good we uh, uh, played uh, pubg mobile on this device we also done a video on that dedicated video so overall it feels really nice uh, with uh, the performance aspect so it is a, a, again really good from vivo 
Now talking about the battery. So the phone comes uh, with a uh, 4500mAh capacity battery. It is slight downgrade from the Vivo Z1 uh, uh, Pro which had a 5000mAh capacity battery. But you can see that it is uh, the thickness of the device is uh, trimmed down. So that's why uh, there is a uh, lower capacity battery, slightly lower capacity. Uh, so it still has a 4500mAh capacity battery. Now the important aspect about uh, the device is the 225 watt uh, fast charging supported on this device. So that's the first time we are seeing 22.5 watt uh, charger uh, in this price segment. We don't know really the pricing, uh, but then again, uh, we are guessing the pricing. So uh, based on our guess, uh, the, uh, the, this is probably the first time we are seeing 22.5 watt uh, fast charger. We have seen 18 watt fast charger and 20 watt uh, Vook charger. And uh, this is uh, something really good, 22.5 watt uh, fast charger. Now, how much time it takes to charge and how the battery performance is that we will do in a different uh, video. So stay tuned for that. Now, uh, the battery, uh, uh, is 4500 so it should be able to last for more than a day easily now next moving on to the speaker performance so we'll just uh, play a song uh, from the youtube's uh, library and uh, show you So you can see that the speaker output is uh, quite okay but again uh, not the best out there uh, we have seen uh, better performance uh, from uh, uh, realme x and a few other smartphones uh, here so but then uh, it is quite uh, okay uh, in terms of the overall performance now next uh, let's talk about the led notification so one of the questions we get uh, is whether there is a led notification available so we have connected a charger to this device so uh, we are uh, charging the device and you can see that uh, there is no led notification available on the vivo z1x so you can't uh, find an led notification uh, because uh, generally a lot of smartphones with uh, the pop-up selfie camera do skip on the led notification but here you can see that uh, even uh, without the pop-up camera there is no led notification on the vivo z1x now next are uh, the USB OTG functionality. So uh, similar to other Vivo smartphones, uh, you can enable the OTG from the settings and uh, uh, OTG is supported on the Vivo Z1X. Now next uh, moving on to the camera. So this is one area where there is a major difference uh, with respect to the Vivo Z1 Pro. So it has a uh, triple camera setup. So here the camera is uh, quite different. So we have primary 48 megapixel camera, which is a Sony IMX582 sensor. And then you also get uh, uh, the other camera, which is uh, the wide angle camera. And then also there is a depth sensor. So Sony IMX582 is one of the really uh, good cameras out there. And the image clarity is also really good on the Vivo Z1X. So we'll be doing a detailed camera review of this device. So stay tuned for that. So next, uh, another important thing which uh, we get uh, a lot of queries is uh, whether there is camera to API support on this device. So we have installed the camera to API probe and you can see that there is just limited support. Unlike the Vivo Z1 Pro, this does not have full or level 3 support. It is limited support. So we installed uh, a, uh, an APK on our device. So this is the Gcam APK. So we had to test more APKs, but here you can see that uh, the regular camera works and even the selfie mode also works but a uh, portrait mode does not work you can see that a uh, portrait mode is not opening so we'll have to test uh other uh, APKs to see how the performance is but uh, the regular photos did turn out to be pretty good with uh, uh, the Gcam as well so if you are taking just regular photos or selfies uh, uh, the Gcam uh, works uh, but we'll have to test uh, more Gcams to see which one actually works with the Vivo Z1X now next is wide one l1 support so uh, vivo has already clarified that this device comes with a wide one l1 support so you can see that there is a security level is uh, l1 so there is a wide one l1 support on the vivo z1 so that is a detailed faq on the vivo z1 x so hope uh, we have covered all the uh, questions you have been getting on this device so in case we have uh, missed out something you can just drop a comment and we'll be glad to help you out uh, with uh, your questions uh, on the vivo z1x so that's it for this video this is normal signing off thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great